the future I just wanted to introduce this vlog as it is the first vlogmas which is really exciting and um, so happy Christmas I honestly get so excited with this time of year it's just so just lovely good energies there's a lot of lovely things going on like the beginning of December is my birthday Christmas and New Year's there's just so many fun events and parties and just so much festivity in the air which is just wonderful so I wanted to introduce this vlog as I didn't start with a hello so I thought I would sit down and say welcome to Vlogmas and I hope you have a really lovely Christmas with your friends, your family, your loved ones, however you spend it. I hope December treats you well. I am not going to be doing Vlogmas every day, unfortunately I do not have an editor. Um, one day, one day maybe, but I think I will try and just up more content. Um, and I think that might hopefully be quite easy with the amount of fun things going on. So hopefully I can create some really lovely content for you guys. So yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe so then you can be notified when I have a new video coming out because I think they'll be quite random. And also as well, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please do as well because I'll be sharing on my stories when I have Vlogmases coming out. So yeah, I hope you enjoy Vlogmas. Um, and I hope you enjoy Christmas. Let's get into the video. Good morning guys. It is Monday and I am starting the morning with filming some pancakes. Honestly, these are so good. I actually have a batch of batter ready to go. Um, for tomorrow. They are just so good and so healthy. Just two eggs, one banana and some protein powder and you've got yourself some delicious pancakes. So yeah, so I'm filming this one more time just to make sure I've got the content. This protein powder is really good at being like quite good at holding the pancakes together. They're just super fluffy, which is just amazing. Still a little bit poorly if you can hear it in my voice. But yeah, also added cinnamon as well, which is delicious. So I'm going to carry on film this and then tuck in because I feel that's the best part of the job, isn't it? You get to eat it after. Also, I lit the Jo Malone ginger biscuit candle and it smells like Christmas. She is wonderful. Okay, I am a little poorly. I don't actually know what is wrong with me. I need to keep on top of my supplements. So, oh, you had a little... You had a little sneak peek of the, the Christmas tree in the background. So I have a couple that I take on a daily basis, which I think, one, I just, I think it's really good for general daily health, but if you're feeling quite poorly, I would recommend a couple of these. So I've been taking the Vida Glow, and I really think actually the Hairology has been really supporting the strength and growth of my hair. These are incredible. I will leave everything I take down below. So I take one Hairology tablet, I also take one Vida Glow Radiance tablet, enhances skin health and supports a radiant complexion. Also going to take some, I have a few JS Health supplements. I have the hair and energy. I think this has actually really cleared my skin, the skin and digestion. And yeah, I like to take those with a lovely, lovely dose of day and night nurse. I feel like I need to keep these on the side to remind myself to take them because the girl is not feeling well. Oh, I actually have, oh, I have some night ones. Oh, stunning. Those are the supplements I'm taking at the moment, not only just because I'm poorly, but I do see a difference when I take my supplements every day in my daily well-being, my energy, my skin, my complexion, my hair. So I do really think that these have been really working. I know there's quite a lot, um, but I'm doubling up, I think, because um, I'm feeling a little bit poorly. Whilst I'm on the topic of supplements, a brand that I would really recommend checking out is Garden of Life, the brand that I've been working with over on Instagram. These are a couple of the products that I swear by. So we have the Golden Milk, which is like, a really lovely cozy turmeric latte so this is a fermented organic turmeric with ginger organic black pepper and probiotics for digestion gluten free vegan free has like no gmo it's organic and um, it's got ashwanga in there and this is going to be really good for anti-inflammation and um, it's got all of those like healing spices in there as well all the sun is shining and then the magnesium powder i take oh my goodness <clears throat> I take this every day and like I was saying in my previous vlogs when I talk about magnesium 
This is what I've been taking recently. This is what I take on a day-to-day -day basis during the day or at night time. Both the same with the golden milk. You can use it, you can have it during the day, but also it's quite a nice like warming treat at night time. Um, with some water, this is raspberry and lemon flavor and it's super delicious. You just take a tablespoon and put it in some water and it's quite delicious. And it's quite fizzy, it's like a sherbet, it's really nice. Yeah, I'm on top of all my supplements and things like that, trying to just keep well i've had a really lovely hearty breakfast which was needed my golden turmeric and i'm about to take my supplements and i crack on some work before my mum gets here we have a really lovely day oh actually before before i get into what i'm up to last night i put the christmas tree up i haven't decorated it because i'm waiting for helena to come over thursday night to decorate it with me we're gonna have a really cute um little girls night with some bubbles i'm gonna make a really lovely dinner and we're gonna put up the decorations and i just thought i'm gonna wait until my best friend gets here because that's really sad if i do it on my own so yeah i had this tree from last year this is from dunelm and really handy and quite a good size and super easy to put up um but yeah i have a really lovely day with my mum today oh my god the sun has just poured in the flat um, we are going to the Chanel exhibition at the V&A with one of our friends. We have a very early dinner at Daphne's, which will be really lovely because I've always wanted to eat there. I've never eaten there before, um, which is a really nice like Italian in South Ken. So we're going to have like a liner <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to go over to the exhibition and then I think it's like a champagne kind of night, which is obviously very up my street. And then I think me and mum are going to come back and chill on the sofa and watch I'm a Celebrity and just get an early night because I'm not feeling the best. So yeah, so very excited for her arrival. So I'm going to crack on with some work before she does get here and hopefully just be on top of things so I feel a bit more relaxed when she's here and we can have a lovely little afternoon. It is a little later now and I have a visitor and she's looking very French. <laughs> El Parisien. <laughs> you look cute in that. Oh, Oh, you're awful. <laughs> but my mum's here and we have a lovely Monday afternoon with our dearest friends and going out for dinner and a Chanel exhibition, which is really exciting. But first of all, we're going to go a little bit of shopping because we're a bit early. So what else is there to do? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But I'm all wrapped up. I've got my black and other stories turtleneck on. These are just the warmest. And then I've got my Micella London coat on, little shorts, tights, boots. And these are from Saru and I just love them. They're so lovely and statemented. But yeah, off we go to Sloan Square. I really want a puffer jacket, but I don't know if I can be bothered to carry it for the rest of the evening. We shall see. It's quite light, but it's in demand because I kept putting it on my stories and everyone keeps buying it and it's really annoying. So I, I need to go get it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Christmas campaign that I'm about to film. So look at this gin and tonic setup. I've just done a really pretty tablescape with lemons and grapes as I'm doing a really exciting campaign with a gin company called Renee and this is owned by Emma Watson and her brother Alex Watson and I just adore the packaging. It's so beautiful and they've brought out a limited edition with these really sweet illustrations so I'm creating a reel of me making a gin and tonic and putting the stickers on and then I do a little cheers but this is the little setup I've got my Christmas tree ready to go and it just looks very sweet and very festive are they burning no the grapes aren't burning so yeah so this is what I'm starting off with this afternoon I've also put some really pretty bows on my cups so that is the first water cool and then I am actually heading off to all Saints with Holly to get um, leather jackets personalised, which will be really lovely. And then a Christmas party with M&S. 
now i'm feeling a little bit under the weather i'm not going to lie um so i have night nurse day nurse everything to just keep me going um but yeah it's been a very very busy week so i haven't really vlogged that much at the beginning but i thought i would start now because i've got because this is such a lovely evening and then tomorrow i'm decorating the tree with helena <laughs> arrived at the M&S dinner and oh my goodness it looks so gorgeous and we're in the most beautiful house it is so stunning we also have the chef Emma known also as the greedy model doing our dinner and she is cooking up a storm of M&S we've got potatoes Brussels sprouts I'm gonna stay up here because I don't want to get in the way but this kitchen is just phenomenal and it's just looking all delicious this is such a beautiful spot oh my goodness Hello guys, it is the evening now. I have had a very, very busy last couple of days to say the least. I actually, I actually don't remember when I last spoke to you, but it is Thursday night now and I have my best friend Helena coming over and I'm gonna cook us a lovely dinner and we're going to put the Christmas tree up, which I am very much excited for. I've just spruced the house, everything feels all put together. I have got all the Christmas decorations out. If you saw, the Christmas tree is up. I had to put her up for a campaign that I was shooting yesterday and the other day was actually the only time I really had spare to put it up but I've been waiting for Helena to actually come over to decorate it with me because I didn't want to do it on my own. We're going to be doing it in our pajamas and we're going to be doing it with champagne and it's just going to be the loveliest little evening so I thought I would take you along with me. So yesterday was a really lovely event. Honestly I think I said it to the team I think it was one of my favorite favorite brand Christmas events I've ever been to to say the least it was just so well thought of and it was with Marks and Spencers who are just such a English rose when it comes to the brands we have in this country I think M&S has a dear place in all our hearts if you're from England from the food from the homeware just from school uniform everything I think M&S has been a part of one of our lives um the percy pigs the colin the caterpillar birthday cake i used to always get my school stuff from there my first bra was from MS, and all my bedding and my mum's bedding um so for me MS holds a really true place in my heart i feel like i'm really like proud to see them still come such a long way and still be such a um main brand in um this day and age with their incredible designs when it comes to clothing and interior they just they just keep smashing it. So it was such an honour last night to be invited by Marks and Spencers for their Christmas party, which was in collaboration with The Greedy Model, which is Emma Proudlock. And also Emma and Oliver Proudlock were there with their wine brand called QV Wine, which was delightful. I didn't get to try the rosé, but I tried the red and it was stunning. 
So it was a really lovely event um, with the most loveliest people and the food was delicious, of course, because Emma was cooking and it was just the loveliest night and I just had such an amazing time. So I'll leave my outfit down below as well because I absolutely loved my outfit. I got so many compliments. But now I'm going to prep for Helena's arrival. I've just done a food shop. I'm gonna have a really nice healthy fish and bean dish, which I saw on Instagram. But first of all, I wanted to quickly show you some new and bits because I kindly got sent a really lovely parcel by the white company. I received two parcels from the white company and I honestly, it, this is like a big pinch me moment. So I thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing with you. They first kindly sent me this array of, I, need, I feel like I need to sit down for this. I thought I would actually sit down by the Christmas tree to show you actually what I received Ah, you're on the Lazy Susie. So I thought I'd quickly sit down with you in front of the Christmas tree to show you what I kindly received from the White Company. So I kindly got some napkins, I'm assuming. They're really sweet. They are these really gorgeous napkins. I've got four here and they've got this really nice silver thread sparkle embroidery on them which looks really pretty and just very elegant which i quite like very subtle but it came with some really lovely books and brochures so we've got oh, homemade crumble oh my goodness so we have three different crumbles i could try pear and blackberry maple miso and apple and plum crumble mm delicious oh my goodness we have a couple more books i then kind of received i have opened this to be fair already because i wanted to use these and obviously i wasn't gonna wait i saw a box arrive with white company and i was like i cannot wait for that to arrive um i kind of got two mixing bowls which are so stunning so i'm going to be using those i also then got these gorgeous baubles. I got a few of these and they're these really pretty glass baubles. And what I love about them is that they are, you can personalize them and add little decorations to them. So you can add like little notes or even if you've got like children or dogs and you can just have a little locket of their hair and it could be like their first Christmas locket. Um, I don't know if that's weird or, or I don't know like maybe your first champagne cork from your first Christmas in your new home I don't know I thought they were just really sweet or you could get your friends to like I said make little notes and put them in there and I feel like they're quite funny so I kindly got those oh I missed one oh my goodness and I also got this gorgeous scallop tray bake Wow. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to use this. I'm gonna use this for the fish dish that I'm going to be cooking tonight. How beautiful is that? You could definitely use this as not only a baking tray, but also as well for serving or a little pie or crumble. This is beautiful. I then kindly got sent some dessert bowls, which are just so beautiful. Oh wow. So I kind of got sent these really beautiful dessert glasses, which I think could also pair really nicely as like little champagne coupes as well. They're quite sweet. So I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. So thank you very much to the White Company and Sophie who for sending these over because I am going to get so much use out of these. So I'm going to now make use of this all these gorgeous pieces I've kindly been sent and make a really lovely tablescape. Then I'm going to film a little bit of a cooking show for my reels and then hopefully Helena will be in good timing to decorate the Christmas tree and for some bubbles. So these are the decorations I have from previous years. I've got a really lovely kind of mixture of red theme going on. I've got some really lovely sets of these H&M paper ones. I've also got these really gorgeous macaroons, which kind of go quite nicely with these colors. Got all these lovely little ribbons from previous um, Clarence Christmas crackers. I've got this really pretty red one from Jo Malone. What else have I got in here? Oh, I've got these really lovely, um, I found these from a charity shop, but I've seen them in so many shops recently. So I will leave a few similar down below, but I absolutely adore these. And I actually got these for like three pounds, which is amazing. 
I have a little oyster. I've got some really pretty ones in here. Um, like this one. This is stunning. Um, what else have I got in here? Ah, this is my first champagne cork from my first Christmas on my own. And, and that was when I popped with my girls. I got a lovely little, a little mushroom from Jessica. I've also got a couple from when I went to Cotswolds with Tiana and Mark. What else have I got in here? Another champagne bottle. Oh, delightful. Oh, loads of ribbon as well. Um, so I've got bits and bobs like that. And then, yes, I've got these ones as well. So I will put a couple in here so we can see them. <laughs> prepped the fish it looks delicious we have cod with tomatoes basil olives we have some butter beans in there some shallots and then i've dressed it with lots of olive oil salt and pepper lemon oregano and a bit of chili and it's in the white company tray bake and it just looks so pretty i don't know if i need to put anything on top but we're gonna give it a go and then we're gonna serve this with either some potato and salad or some rice, but we shall see what Helena fancies when we get there. So I've got my Helena here. Yeah, much better. My Santa's little helper. We're gonna decorate the Christmas tree. Perfect. Isn't it? So precious. How cute are these ones from the white company? Yeah. Dinner is served, got some fish, rocket, and some rice. Rice is very nicey. 